So Tom, throughout this four-part series on IT support, we've often talked about the need for the IT support agent to maintain documentation on a case throughout the entire troubleshooting process. So we know that documentation is needed, but it really goes beyond that. I mean, anyone can jot some notes down about a case, but for the documentation to really be useful, it must be detailed, thorough, and complete. So for the person uh, just getting into IT support, can you provide some tips as to how detailed their documentation should be? In other words, what should they definitely include in their notes, and is there anything that they shouldn't document? Yep, great question. Um, I'm going to offer personal, personal tips here. Um, for me, um, I will have a, and most support agents will have some form of app where they're going to enter in their case details. For me, um, I will use like OneNote or, or, or Word while I'm working um, with the customer. And I want to make sure that um, I, I'm collecting like everything in sequence. Um, and throughout, throughout the call, I, I mean, people will, support agents will chase red herrings. They'll go down rabbit holes. They'll have all kinds of stuff they, where they go off course to, to, to bring, and then they'll eventually come back towards the path towards solution. So when I, when I take this and I enter it into my tool, I want it to have flow. I want to start out with the environmental information, you know, their operating system, specific builds, etc. And then I'll go through, you know, what I had done, the results, error messages, changes, um, so, so on and so, and so forth. Um, you don't want to copy an entire email which has um, a large signature at the bottom into the case notes because that will just add more time to an individual that, that later on may review that case. You want your, your case notes to c contain um, pertinent information um, that flows because, um, you know, uh, everyone, ha you know, will eventually go on a vacation and they may need to have somebody watch over that case. And if someone later on reviews that case and it's got all kinds of um, red herrings to chase and rabbit holes to go down and, and uh, email signatures, uh, it can be very confusing. And then we get into the point where customers are going to start to get asked the same questions again and they can get frustrated.